Hello. Chinese, Ali. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. I've forgotten how bright Joy is. I can't forget Gwen. I, I mustn't. What if I forget her? She could starve to death.
Golden slumbers fill your eyes. Smiles awake when you rise. Pretty, isn't it? They made us memorize it at school. At the time, Mummy was far more interested in love poems. Poets ought to write some more sleep poems, don't you think? Alright, next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it. You have such a wonderful sense of humor. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. Have you got my chemical back? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me another little while. Have you got my bird feeder? Yeah! Yes! Yes, I have! Oddest looking bird feeder I've ever seen. Spend my money, shall we? Sorry, love. Girl's got to live on a budget.
Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. Morning. The old top shelf. Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. Oh, she's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it. Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh she barks, but she don't bite. <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Got anything yummy in you? Do people still buy these? Thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Lovely day for it. Sorry, I'm just so picky these days.
Let's see what Mikey has to say for himself. Someone's upstairs. How'd they get in? General, why didn't you let yourself in? You didn't answer my knock. I wasn't home. And you want to lock the door. Oh, the memories always come back. Oh, then you have such dreadful things to remember. Be nice. <laughs> let me make the bad memories go away. What on earth is that? Are you hallucinating? Rainbow has all sorts of crazy side effects. It couldn't be a cat. Hasn't been a cat since the war. You are going to love this one. It couldn't be a baby. Don't be silly. No one's had a baby in 15 years. Say, Dance with me, Robert. Shame I won't remember any of yours. You do come here to forget. General? Robert? Are you still here? Please don't still be here. He'll forget. He has to forget. No one can know about you, Gwen. Especially not the General. Yes, yes. Mommy's gonna feed you. Don't look at me with those big eyes. Oh, no one has ever fed you ever, have they? Me, me, mummy. Found someone. Meet usual place. Oh, for heaven's sake, Mikey. You could have just written down the name and sent it up the blower. You look a bit down. You don't look as happy as can be. Bloody hell, I've lost my dollar. <laughs>
Risking my job, you know. Patient records are supposed to be private. I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I suppose I don't really want to know the truth. Don't worry. No one will ever know. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. You lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! I knew it was you. I, I mean, it's another you. The glasses, the hair, you're all dashing now. But the way you look around, all intense like that, I just knew that's Arthur. How the hell are you? Sally? You look quite stylish. Now, this ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm not even sure it's still in style. Queen and White checked. Your dress. That night you ran out the door and I never saw you again. <laughs> That horrible gingham dress. I had to grab something to put on, didn't I? Wait. You're off your joy. Oh, don't be oh, ridiculous. Oh, you of little faith. I'd never turn you in. You wouldn't believe what I've got myself into. I saw Percy. A picture of him. And I remembered the train. Oh, shit. I have to go find him. I promised I'd take care of him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. Uh, I've been living in the Garden the District. The Garden District? Off the scraps of our former civilization. Oh my God. I could help you. I do... know General Bing. Oh, the General. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. You still hate me. Yeah, well, I've only been wandering for the past 14 we were 16. years. 16! How could you? Because he took me in when my mum died. Because. Because he was so generous. Because he said he loved me. I don't know. Some things just happen whether you want them to or not. We were so close. The two musketeers. Remember? You know how we used to sit on the swings by the crash of V1? These days I spend a lot of time there, remembering. Look, it's a horrible, terrible world out there, and no matter how clever and brave and fierce you are now, you'll need a letter of transit to get into the Emerald City. I've missed you for 14 years. I think I can escape Wellington Wells without Arthur. your help. And I definitely don't want any favours from your latest friend. Arthur! Well... There's your answer, darling. Arthur hasn't forgotten you. Shit. Colonel Lawrence? Wasn't he the hero of Ramsgate? I mean, of course, he's been exposed to mustard gas. 
He was in the Great War. I do need his pituitary extract. I guess I'll have to pay him a visit. Sometimes he even stays in there after I tell him it's time for dinner. Last night. Ah, and he left it there on the... There's no time to be a fussy eater. it was when you cry. You barely even breathe. I bet I can just walk right on in. Sorry, I'm very busy. The family is in mourning. And will be shortly. With any luck. I've come with the Colonel's prescription. Prescription? What does he need with medicine? He's, he's dying. No thanks. I know you're a clever chemist and all, but he's very old. And, and we've decided to, to let nature take its course. Oh, it's not a cure. You can't cure old age, can you? <laughs> This is really just to help ease the way. Help him sleep. Wouldn't mind if he slept a bit more. Always ringing that goddamn bell. All right, I'll give him the pills. I'm afraid it goes in the other end. Oh, <laughs> I don't suppose 
you'd like to administer it. I can do that. I understand that the family is sometimes uncomfortable. Great. Well, up you go. No, it's in the will. We agreed. Now, oh, before you pissed on the show, the odious sofa. McClear Has sisters. He not. It was Edmund. You put him up to it because it comes to me in the will. Served you right. You knew I loved that sofa. Well, you can have it now. What will you trade me? For a pissed on sofa? You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands. You'd have to pay me to take it off your hands? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you have lots of potpourri. It does whiff. I think you should pay me to clear it. It's your sofa. Or will be. It's Edmund's piss. Honor? Regina? No. Is it? Is that you, Hope? I, I thought you were gone on holiday. They've been beastly to me, your sisters. I'm sorry, Papa. They are waiting for me to die. I'm surprised I haven't woken up with a pillow over my face. How horrible. You survived artillery and mustard gas, but your daughter's your enemy now. You're not Hope, are you? Who are you? Who? Anna! Regina! Help! This will only sting a little. <laughs> you deserve better. We don't have a lot of heroes. Alright. I have my maturity extract and my amalgam. I need to replace the saffron and the methadrone. How do I get those? Hmm. Your rabbit peed on my books. And then you let your snake eat him. Uncle Edward I'm bought so you another. To the of flower. You murdered Mopsy! You're just cross because Uncle Edward loved me more. Pitied more like. You dared me to jump off the roof, then you pushed! How much joy do you have to take before you believe yourself? If you or Edmund defile one more of my things, I'm keeping the heffle white. Sally Boyle! What a lovely bunch of non-suches. From your mum's garden. But she's crying. Can you make me different? I want to be different. But you are different. She means like everyone else. I'm supposed to care about dresses and dances and all I can think about are rockets and chemicals. Can you give me something to make me silly? For a couple of hours, I dare say. Shush! You don't have to care about dresses and dances. You just have to pretend to. Your mother told you to always tell the truth, didn't she? The lies they tell children. But you ladies don't care about dresses, do you? But I love dresses. Keep to your chemicals for later. Later? Later when? Things change. What do you mean? Do you know something? Where did you all go? The weird sisters. They're always making potions and things out of herbs. I bet they could help me.
Well, look at you. Lovely day for it. was to protect him. People forget that. Ah, hello. Welcome to today's edition of That Next Amazing. What is it? The has fallen down. Fallen down. Gwen, don't be afraid of the dark. Just bring a torch. whenever I like. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying.
Vivienne Morgals? How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, uh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest, and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But... about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want, but first, learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon! Anon!
and it's time for all good citizens, and it's time for all good citizens to be comfy and cozy and safe behind their doors. It's certainly not safe. Of course the lads are here. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. You hear that? It's your own fault, the way you look at me. We're not scared of you! This is our little secret. Hey. in case I need to run. There we go. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I guess I should talk to the weird sisters again. <laughs> <laughs> 